The Gibraltar Multiple Sclerosis Society held a fitness charity event yesterday evening in recognition of World MS Day. As you can see, orange is a charity's official colour and the group took on an hour-long body combat session with instructor David Mendes. The local society has been up and running for about two years and although representatives are glad that the community is more aware of the condition now, they still feel it's crucial to acknowledge World MS Day. Well, it's important for the patients, really, because we have a lot of patients locally. There must be in the region of 100, roughly. And obviously, they, they don't really have much contact with other patients or anything. So it was important not only for us to be a society and be visible here in Gibraltar, but also to let them know that there are other people in, in the world with this. And they do have their societies, and, and we all have this in common. So it's good to join in as a whole group worldwide and, and say, you know, we've got this and we're trying to make the best of it. New multiple sclerosis patients are now made aware of the local society when dealt with at the hospital. The group offers information, advice and support. But what's next for the GMSS? We've got a lot of plans, but sadly we need premises to be able to continue and do exactly what we want to do. We already have the MS section, obviously, which is the most active because it's what we have the most members of, and we've been working on that for a couple of years now. We also have the stroke section, which is also a neurological condition, which is also very sort of neglected in the region of having any uh, sort of support for the patients or anything. So they've contacted us to try and get something going. So we've got a stroke section. We've got a carer's section, which we also have started to, to get uh, people involved with and we've got a couple of people that are looking at taking that on. For the future we're also expanding to other neurological conditions, hopefully trying to get them each, depending on numbers obviously, their own little section or otherwise to just have a neurology section and just encompass them all there. Obviously to have therapies that help them, a device, a library, a place to meet, that, that sort of thing that's very lacking at the moment. So that's the future plan.